Eight, uh, more people than I expected at yeah. our premiere. <laughs> is it a little bit overwhelming because this beautiful film, you made it and then there was those ups and downs. Um, to actually be here now and get to show it in London at a premiere, is it slightly overwhelming? I would say the word is probably surreal that uh, after years of sitting in editing rooms and on the set and writing, then this is actually the moment that it's happening. So I was actually moving to, I was like, hmm, I have to take this in for a moment. Do you have a girl back home? <laughs> no. Do you? British and Estonian production, which is pretty special. Um, just talking to Tom, it just feels like you guys all just connected. It's an it's a beautiful story of love, but right now with what, where the world is, you can't help but find parallels, which I know you guys would never have planned because nobody knew this was going to happen. How does it feel with how people are receiving this film right now? Well, it's first of all really deeply saddening what's going on in Ukraine and and it's also a very stark reminder of the history and the cycle of violence repeating itself. So I think we, I mean exactly, we would have never known when we wrote and, and shot this film that it would come out at this time. Um, but it's, it's also in a way important because it gives us an opportunity to shed more light to the region and to what's been going on there for a long time already in terms of human rights abuses and also the, the absolute repression of the LGBT community. And, and it's really amazing that we are partnering up with All Out to uh, help also Ukrainian LGBT refugees through this film. I could show him around. I'm afraid of this dream, of waking up, of losing you. I understand um, Tom and you kind of auditioned, there were thousands of people, it was an open audition, and then it was, he's our Roman. What was it about him that you thought? It's tough to even say it. I think what I've learned in this process most of all is to trust my feeling and uh, I think it was for all of us when Oleg walked in within seconds that that's the Roman, except Aww. he didn't speak uh, any English. <laughs> but this is the thing, and obviously the accent for Tom, um, some people would say, oh, would, I wonder why they didn't go with the Russian speaking language. Was that a conscious decision you guys meant because you wanted to make it an international film? Absolutely. We want really the widest, uh, widest audience around the world to see it. And I think, you know, if we had shot it in Russian, we would not be opening on Friday with 100 plus screenings across the UK per day. Um, so it's, it makes it more accessible, but also casting-wise, um, when we try to cast some supporting roles from known Russian actors, who actually none of them accepted the job and said, oh. yeah, none of them. They said, I love this film, I would love to do it, but I can't because it could jeopardize my whole career. The report has been received implying you have engaged in immoral conduct with the private. Give me his name. We could escape. Sergei, I'm an officer. I can't leave my motherland. We're talking about the 70s, you know. At that point, these two soldiers, if they'd been caught, they would have had five years. Now, we're trying to say there was change, tolerance, and but actually it's still incredibly difficult and a crazy time to be gay, to be trans, to be different in any way. It's, it's actually uh, worse than I ever imagined, honestly. And, you know, also having had our film uh, almost banned, basically shut down at the Moscow Film uh, Festival last year, it's uh, it's a stark reminder of how things really are, and and it's for me it's just uh, I think sad is the only only word that comes to mind, and uh, I have a lot of empathy for the families who still try to live in those countries and, uh, you know, face the discrimination every day. Sexual relations of a man with another man, which is punishable by five years imprisonment in a hard labor camp. 
Tom said it's really important that you guys see this as a love story too. Is that how, is that the message you're hoping? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Sergei, real Sergei, asked yeah. us. He had only one wish: please make this film about love, not politics. And, and I think that's what we also did. That uh, at the core, it's just a very touching, touching human story. If there is the slightest truth in that report, nobody can protect you then. I see what goes on on the man house. I knew it. You know what happens to men like you, like me. What do you then? You really believe that if you live a lie long enough, it'll suddenly become true. You don't know anything about me. I can't.